Hey all you GMC Chevy truck owners, doing a video on how to change a brake light switch. Uh, 95 and newer, Silverado, Sierra, Tahoe, Yukon, Suburban, all those trucks with this style of uh, steering column. Uh, that's the old brake light switch. That's the old clip. Uh, part number as follows. It was about 10 bucks. Uh, you can get these clips from GM, factory GM ones. I've had them before. I just grabbed this at the local parts store. 13808. Comes with a bunch of little clips here. I think that's for the, I know that's another style clip that comes on these trucks. I think that might be for the older ones. I'm not 100% sure. But this 97 C2500 took this round clip. Um, you don't have to drop the steering column. It's not going to take two hours to do it. Took me about five minutes steady five minutes of my hand cramping up trying to pry that clip off uh, I had four tools here this is just comes in a cheap kit here couple of picks flathead screwdriver I'll show you how you do it put your seat all the way back put the tilt up get yourself a trouble light I think the hardest part was trying to get that trouble light to stay steady I'm 260 pounds I got down here on my back no problem you just get yourself kind of wedged in here, kind of comfy. Anyway, there's your brake light switch up there. There's the new clip I've installed. Take yourself your pick. Go from this side of the column, driver's side of the column, passenger side, driver's side, and you get up here and you just start picking away too bad it's so dark you just start picking away see that little space there start picking away at that ear right there start bending those little ears out there's one on each side you can spin the clip around keep spinning the clip around it's pretty simple just like I said just demolish that clip off there you got a bunch of others there now it's spun around start prying down on that get it to a point bust those little ears off or bend them back and then get your pick or your flathead screwdriver and get right underneath it and start prying it off of that spot. Pry it off of there. Eventually, like I said, it took me a good five minutes to pry that clip off. It'll fly off. Then you reach in behind here. Reach up. You see my fat hand under there. You pull that off that rod. It'll slide off. Then it comes down, drops down to about here. Use your flathead screwdriver, poke in the connector, pull it out. Put your new one back up, your new brake light switch. Slide it up onto the rod. This clip is tight now. And I'll show you what I did to get that clip on there. I tried a bunch of different times to try and push it on there. It wouldn't go. It would not go over top of that rod. So what I did was I took this offset pliers here. I took the uh, clip here slid it on top of my pliers and I spread it open a little bit and then anyway then you get underneath there you slide it over top of that rod and then uh, yeah you're pretty much done there there's a little bit of a clip uh, this clips onto a rod there right here it's really easy and it sits on like that your clip sits over the rod like that pretty simple stuff like I said you don't gotta pull the steering column and all that um, truck start like I said, I couldn't get it out of park. There was no way of getting it out of park without, you know, um, either depressing the brake pedal really hard and trying all this stuff. Smooth. No problems. Truck's good to go. I can't wait to test to see if my cruise is now working. It all started by taking my truck to a mechanic and having the brake booster changed. I had the brake booster changed, did a great job, but you know, you take your vehicle into a mechanic and uh, they wreck more things than they do good. Wrecked the brake light switch and uh, caused a lot of problems. But anyway, YouTube, um, yeah, that's how you do it. It took me about a good 10 minutes. I've never done one before. Um, I'm semi-mechanically inclined and uh, yeah, it was pretty simple stuff. But like I said, just demolish that clip when you get it off. Don't worry about saving it. The new ones are cheap.